Hey, the YouTube and CJ Holmes here, taking a, a brief break from uh, my Titanic wreck build, and I want to show you my latest acquisition. It's Dracula's Bank. It's a uh, battery-operated coin bank made sometime, perhaps in the late 1950s, early to mid 1960s. I really don't know for sure. There's not a lot of information about this bank. I do see a patent number on it. And uh, I looked up the patent number, and there's no information on it. I do know that it was made in Japan. And these are the uh, sides of the box. One cool thing about it, the instructions are actually printed on one of the top flaps of the uh, bank. So I'll show you that in case you want to take a screenshot. Alright, cool. So there are the instructions, there's the box, and here's the bank. And I'll show you how it works. And there it goes. Uh, it's quite similar to the more common uh, smaller coin banks that were produced by Pointer Productions. And I'll uh, show you how that works. You'll see it's the same little hand, the same kind of action. Okay, I'm going to remove the coin so I don't have to dig it out. But there goes the hand. One thing that you might notice is that the Dracula's bank does not rock back and forth like this one. I've seen some YouTube clips of Dracula's banks that do rock. This one doesn't. <clears throat> so, um, when I received this, it was not working. And to get to the mechanism, I literally had to break uh, a glue um, seal. It was uh, glued with uh, polystyrene cement actually got to the point where I had to fracture the case to get it off so there's the fracture and there's the repair but anyway it was a very difficult removal but now I'm able to get to the mechanism and there it is <clears throat> okay this uh, steel plate here serves two purposes one to keep coins from falling into the gears and two to house this bracket that uh, you know, I got it started to work here. Show you how it works. Okay, there we go. So this has the bracket that uh, actually pulls the coin out of the hand's grasp. So uh, there's the inner workings of the uh, bank. I tend to think that it's <coughs> a rather older, maybe late 50s uh, item, only because the pinion gear uh, that's on the motor, there's a couple of pinion gears there, they're made out of uh, brass, and uh, later 1960s versions have the plastic pinion gears that always go out and need to be replaced. So happily, this is all metal here. The problem with this bank when I got it was uh, this uh, contact, that wire was uh, broken off, as well as this contact, so I had to re-solder those. But anyway, uh, it's working fine now. And again, like I said, it um, took a lot of work to get uh, this mechanism out of the case. So, if anyone has any more information as to exactly who made this, uh, when it was made, I would uh, be interested to see. Also, I uh, forgot to uh, continue on the thought. Notice the other banks rock back and forth before the hand comes out. And that action is caused by a little cam that uh, brushes up against the cam follower 
that has this uh, lever on it that causes the bank to move up and down. This didn't have it. It had the hole where the uh, shaft would have gone. It has the opening where the cam follower would have gone. And I thought, well, maybe someone had taken it apart at some time in the past and didn't put it back on. But then uh, I realized that the little uh, trap door that, uh, that goes on the bottom where uh, the coins, the coins would all go in here. This trap door doesn't have any opening for the, uh, the little rocking mechanism. I've seen some YouTube clips where it rocks, and I've seen a YouTube clip where it doesn't. So there must have been variations on these. And this one just happens to not have the rocking mechanism. So, there you go. That's uh, Dracula's Bank. <clears throat> Again, if you have any more information on it, I would love to uh, get your comments. But that's it. I hope you found it edifying. And a devastating, mysterious, fantastic. Ooh, ooh, I will show you that. Notice that it has this saying on it. Here's a pointer, little black box from 1959, that has the same kind of wording on it, and really it looks like much similar style of artwork. So I'm wondering, is Dracula's Bank also a pointer product, or was the box art simply made by the same company. You can see the uh, the box art here has the same kind of wording. I've seen variations on this box art that doesn't have this and has some other different graphics on it. But uh, that's uh, that's all I know about it. It likely will be for sale sometime in the future. And uh, if it is, what I'm going to do is I am going to, <clears throat> in fact, we'll go ahead and do that right now because I'm ready to put the cover back on because I've lubricated and uh, cleaned up the motor. I've lubricated the bearings and uh, it's working fine now. So this is, uh, I, I don't see a lot of these around on eBay. I think it's a rare item. Uh, I didn't get it cheaply, I know that. Let me find a more appropriate screwdriver, if possible. Yeah, we'll use this. Come on, guy. Okay, I need to bend this tab back. That screwdriver is just too big. Where's my good screwdriver? Right there. All right. Okay, let's bend this tab back. Get in there. Okay, I think that's all that is required to get the uh, cover on. Let me make sure that the thing still works. Oh, of course it doesn't. It doesn't have batteries. All right, so a couple of batteries later. Good gravy. Okay, there we go. Let's see if it works now. Oh, I've bent something that's in the way here. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. Now, let's see if this... Uh, live as it happens... Try it again. Awesome. I think I am going to bend that tab out a little bit. OK, 
Okay, I'll try it one more time. Smooth now. Okay, I can put the cover back on. <clears throat> and then this uh, plate will go on. And again, all this says is made in Japan, right there, and the patent numbers with no date. So this will screw back on with little bitty screws. Okay, you can see the idea there. Alrighty then, so I've got the screws on the uh, trap door here. Got everything put back together. And there you go. Dracula's Bank, made by somebody sometime. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.